Welcome back to another episode of SHOT Show TV. I'm your host, Trevor Santos, Director of Government Relations State Affairs for the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Here I'm joined by Georgia State Representative Martin Momtahan. Representative, thank you so much for being here with us today. Oh, absolute pleasure to be here. And uh, man, I'm just astounded by how awesome this is here today. So this is your first SHOT Show experience. You've been here for a few hours. What are your initial thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think, first of all, I mean, we are surrounded by 63,000 patriots here today that uh, whether you're manufacturing or you're retailing, uh, we are so thankful for everything that they do. And, uh, and look, I mean, you just see that this is a thriving industry in the United States, and uh, this is only getting bigger. You know, I, I keep talking to folks who were here the year past and the year before that, and they say, Martin, it's, it's getting bigger every year. And uh, that's going to define the tempo and the pace of this industry over the next five years, I think. Well, and look, we're, we're proud of our industry. We're proud of our contributions in your community and around the, this great country. You know, our, our members, the manufacturers, the distributors, the retailers, the ranges, they're providing jobs, they're paying taxes. And uh, this is our opportunity to showcase what we do and who we are as a firearm industry. So uh, more than anything, thank you for being here to take it all in. We want to use this yeah. as a as an educational purpose. Um, but look, you're a, you're a representative in, in the Georgia House of Representatives. The state of Georgia has invested heavily in NSSF and the SHOT Show and the firearm industry. So, you know, you walk on that main floor and you get to see, you know, your state listed there. Um, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, what an incredible feeling to be, I mean, this well represented uh, here at SHOT Show. I walk in, I see the Georgia Department of Economic Development and all the partners, you know, that, that make that up. And people, you know, I, I think about, uh, when I think about Georgia and, and economic development, I think about the people who have laid the groundwork, right? You've got uh, the Wallace family with Venture Outdoors. Uh, you've got great partners like Marty Daniels and Daniel Defense. Uh, you've got uh, H&K and you've got uh, Glock and you've got Torx. I mean, just so many to name, but they have laid the foundation for the economic prosperity uh, that we've seen in the firearms manufacturing and retail market over the last 50 years. And then when we think about just general economic development, last year $23 billion in new economic, uh, uh, new economic projects in the state of Georgia. Look, under the leadership of Governor Kemp, uh, uh, former Speaker Ralston, and uh, uh, now Speaker Burns, Georgia is going to be the place to either manufacture or sell firearms ammunition. Uh, in the future, and uh, you know, look, we, we look at states that are doing it right. Georgia's one of those states. We look at some states that aren't doing it right, right? That we're on the heels of Illinois passing a bill that would basically shut down their firearms manufacturing sector. Uh, and so, my message to them, and I'm sure others, has been uh, hey, we're ready for you with open arms in the state of Georgia. Let's build some guns. Yep, there, there's no doubt about it. There are uh, plenty of states around the country that don't respect our industry and they're almost telling our industry go ahead and leave we don't care about you uh, but Georgia's sitting here with open arms just saying hey come on, come on and bring your business here uh, we're the number one state to do business for in and have years. been for the past nine years I mean yeah. it's incredible it's a it's a wonderful place to uh, work live and raise a family you got it so look not only is Georgia a great place to, to do business but it's obviously very Second Amendment friendly so I want you to touch on you know some of what you and your colleagues in the, the Georgia General Assembly have done over the past few years in, in respect to uh, the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding gun owners. That's right. So under the, uh, under the leadership of Governor Brian Kemp and uh, Speaker, uh, Speaker uh, John Burns, you know, we've done a great job in the state of Georgia uh, uh, of making sure that we prioritize Second Amendment issues. And just last year, uh, uh, Chairman uh, Mandy Ballinger in the House uh, champion was the uh, sponsor of a uh, of constitutional carry in the House. Uh, I was a co-sponsor and uh, proud to be that. We got so many, uh, you know, two-way advocates in the House, and uh, we were able to bring that across the finish line with uh, Senator Jason Ann Matardi, who also happens to be my state senator. And so, what an incredible day it was to be at the signing ceremony and get to see uh, Governor Kemp sign that piece of legislation. You know, he announced that. Uh, at, at Adventure Outdoors in Smyrna, and just to see that, uh, uh, just to see that whole uh, process come to fruition was absolutely incredible. And uh, that's the kind of environment, that's the kind of teamwork that it takes. You know, whether it's the you know, economic development side or the policy side, that's what it takes to win these manufacturers. And that's why when you go into the main hall, you get to see all those dots on the map. Right. 
there's no doubt about it. And if you haven't been up to the Georgia booth on the main hall, I would uh, certainly uh, encourage you to go check it out and see who all, uh, who all Georgia has there in the state. Um, you know, Representative, one thing I'm, I'd like for us to discuss is an issue that, uh, that we've talked about. It's, it's probably one of the top priorities for the industry. Um, over the past several years, going back to the Obama administration, Operation Choke, Choke Point, our industry has experienced a lot of discrimination, whether it's from the banking sector, the insurance sector, um, you know, Google, PayPal, whoever it may be. Um, if you can't get financing or credit to manufacture firearms, then your constituents can't go to their local firearm retailer and purchase a firearm for self-defense. So, you know, do you think uh, there's something that the state of Georgia can do here in the future to uh, protect our industry from this blatant discrimination. Oh, absolutely. And this is an issue that has actually happened to uh, retailers and manufacturers uh, close to my district um, and, uh, and friends. And so we are going to do something about it. So this is something that we're announcing right now today at SHOT Show. Uh, we are launching a, uh, a bill next week uh, that is going to end the banking discrimination on firearms manufacturers and retailers to make sure that they know that Georgia is going to remain uh, open for business and that we're not going to allow banks in this kind of woke banking. I mean, that's what it is, right? It's this woke banking. They want to shut down law-abiding citizens and businesses, and we're just not going to let them do that. Uh, we're going to hold their feet to the fire. Uh, there has been legislation passed in the in, in the past, I think in 2017, uh, that, that try to do that, and they're still trying to wiggle out of that. Right. And we're going to hold their feet to the fire. We're going to make sure that manufacturers in the state of Georgia and law-abiding citizens know that we are the number one place to manufacture or sell weapon. You heard it here first on SHOT Show TV. Representative Mopdehan is going to be uh, introducing legislation uh, with the hopes of putting an end to this blatant discrimination that our industry has been facing over the past several years, up to a decade. And uh, Representative, I want to thank you for your leadership on this issue. Uh, NSSF, as the Firearms Industry Trade Association, will be there every step yeah, of the way you. to help you wherever we can. I know our manufacturer and retailer members in the state will look forward to uh, playing a supporting role in that as well. So whatever we can do, please let us know. Well, we're so excited to get it done and work with you. and. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it being signed on Governor Brian Kemp's desk. Yes, sir. Well, we know the governor is a friend of our industry. He was here with us last year. Unfortunately, couldn't make it to SHOT Show this year. Uh, any parting words for, uh, for our members here at, at the SHOT Show? Yeah, if you're looking for a place to, to manufacture a firearm, we ready for you in the state of Georgia. There you go. Representative Martin Momptahan, Georgia House of Representatives. I'm Trevor Santos. We'll see you again on SHOT Show TV.